Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to retrieve stock price information by using Excel VBA. Let me give you a quick demo on what we are going to build. In this Excel file I picked some example stocks. After clicking the button, the macro is getting the current stock price from Yahoo Finance and paste it into the worksheet. Once done, a message box will pop up to inform the user that the macro run was successful. Keep in mind that I picked the current stock price just as an example. You can easily adjust the code to retrieve any other information such as the earnings per share, current dividend yield, market cap and much more. To create the bot we only need Selenium, Chrome installed and a Google Chrome web driver. First let's download and install Selenium. Head over to your browser, type in VBA Selenium download and then you should be able to find the following github page. On here, click on download selenium basic. Once downloaded, open up the installer and just click everywhere on next. Ok, once this is done, we need to install the correct chrome web driver. To check which version we need, head over to your chrome browser, go to help and then click on about google chrome. Here you can see your version. In my case, it's 81.0.4. Copy the version, head over to Google and type in Chrome driver download and paste in your version. You should find the following page with the different Chrome driver options to download. Select your version to download. So in my case, I will go ahead and click on 81.0.4 and for my operating system, as I am on Windows, I am going to download the Win32 zip folder. Next, open up the zip folder and copy the Chrome driver executable file. We need to replace this executable with the ones in our Selenium folder. The standard installation path for Selenium will be under User, App Data, Local and then Selenium Basic. Now paste the Chrome driver in this folder and replace the existing one. Alright, now we are good to start coding in Excel VBA. Open up Excel and make sure you have the developer tab enabled. You can enable the developer tab under File, Options, Customize Ribbon and then check the box for developer. Now you should see the ribbon developer. Click on it and afterwards click on Visual Basics. First we will insert a new module. Think about a module like a container which holds all our code we are going to write. Next, we need to link our Selenium library, which we just downloaded, to Excel. To do so, go to Tools, References and search for Selenium Type Library. Tick the box and click on OK. OK, now we are ready to start finally coding. But before we are writing our first line of code, let me shortly show you from where the VBA code will retrieve the stock information. For this tutorial I choose Yahoo Finance, but you could of course use any other website. The approach would be exactly the same. As I said, in our case I would be interested to retrieve the latest stock price. But as you can see here, there is much more information available which we could scrap from the website. Ok, first things first, I will create a new procedure, I will call mine stock retrieve. Next, I will declare bot as a new web driver and type in bot.start chrome followed by a stop point. To run the code, simply press S5 on your keyboard or click the little play button over here. Great, this was working, so VBA has created now a new instance of a Chrome web browser which we can now use. For example, next I would like to open a new tab in the Chrome web browser instance. To do this, we can execute a JavaScript command. The code would be bot.executeScript and then window.openArguments and then in bracket 0. Let me drag the curver over this line and click on step into or hit F8 on your keyboard. By using step into we can execute the code line by line. I find this functionality extremely useful especially when testing the code. 
If you cannot see the debug toolbar, you can enable it under views, toolbar, and then debug. Okay, this was working. Now we have a new tab. Let me try this again, but this time we are going to specify a website which we would like to open in a new tab. In our example, it's the Yahoo Finance page for Apple. If we run this, we should see a new tab which is opening the Yahoo Finance page. Keep in mind, whenever we are going to open a new tab, we need to explicitly tell the Chrome web driver that the following code should be applied to the new tab we just opened. We can easily do this by typing bot.switch to next window. Now here comes the interesting part. We will now specify which element on the web page we want to interact with. This could be clicking a button, typing something in the search bar, or like in our example to get the stock price information. Chrome has already a built-in feature to find certain elements on the web page. Simply right click on the web page and then click on inspect. Now Chrome will display the HTML source code. If we hover over the source code, the respective element is highlighted on the web page. For this tutorial, I will use the XPath location. Do not worry too much about it, it's just simply the location of the respective element on the web page. To get this XPath, right click on the element. Make sure you have selected the right one. As you can see here, I have selected the stock price. Next, go to copy and then click on XPath. Back in Excel, we will store the stock price in a variable. So stock price is equal to bot dot find element by xpath and paste in here the xpath we just have copied. Make sure you do not forget the double quotation marks at the beginning and end of the string. Next, we need to specify which action we want to do on the element. In our case, we would like to extract the text information. I also need to replace the double quotation marks of the XPath by single ones, otherwise VBA will get confused. Let us see if this is working, so therefore I will create a message box to display the stock price we just have retrieved. Now let us run the code from the beginning and we should see the current stock price of Apple in a message box. Alright, this is working. But it would be great to actually retrieve multiple stock prices and to write it back to the worksheet instead of displaying it in a message box. And therefore, I will prepare the worksheet as follows. In column A, I will put the link for the Yahoo Finance page. In column B goes the ticker symbol and in column C, the macro should paste the stock price in. To find out the link for each ticker symbol, it's pretty straightforward. Let us have a closer look on the URL for Apple we just have used. As you can see, we just need to replace the ticker symbol to navigate to the correct URL. Let's try it out by replacing Apple with MSFT, which is a ticker symbol for Microsoft. And voila, here we go. We are now on the our finance page for Microsoft. Let me copy the link and paste it in cell A2. As I want to type in only the ticker symbol, I will create the Yahoo Finance link by concatenating the link with the ticker symbol in column B. Let me drag this formula down and I will replace the ticker symbol with Apple, GOOG, which is the stock for Alphabet, TSLA, so Tesla, and also 3M. In order to get all the stock information in one run, I will use a simple for loop to go through each link, retrieve the information and write it into the worksheet. The loop should start from row 2 and will end in row 6. So this would be for i is equal to 2 to 6 and next i. First get the link to the stock. This information is sitting in sheets 1, dot range, a and i dot value. So in the first one of the loop, i will be replaced by 2. So this would mean cell a2. 
next time it will be replaced by 3, so A3, and so on and so forth, until it reaches cell A6. Now we want to open a new tab in Chrome and go to the link we just grabbed. We can just simply copy and paste the code we already wrote. The only thing we need to replace is the hardcoded string at the end by the variable link we just have created. The next line of codes we can also just simply copy and paste it into our loop. As the stock price will be always at the same position on the website, we do not need to adjust this line of code. Last but not least, we want to write the stock price to the worksheet. This will be sheets 1.range c and i dot value and the value will be the stock price we just stored in our variable. Outside the loop I will also create a message box just that I know everything was working fine. In here I will just say done with a little smiley. To start the macro directly from the worksheet I will also insert a button. You can find buttons under the developer tab then insert select a button and drag it onto your worksheet. Select the macro, in my case it's called stock retrieve and I will rename it to get stock price. Now I've just seen that I made a typo for the Apple stock, um, it should be AAPL. Okay, let's test it out. Chrome it's opening up, first it's going to Microsoft, getting the stock price, paste it into the worksheet. Next tab will be Apple, then Alphabet, Tesla, and the last one will be 3M. Great, that is all working and once done the message box will pop up. Now what we also could do is to open Chrome in the background. To do so just type in bot.addArgument dash dash headless. Now if we run this code again we will see that Chrome is not opening up However, the stock price are appearing line by line in our worksheet and we also get the message box at the end once the macro one was successful. Okay, there you go, a simple stock retrieve bot in just a few lines of code. As I said in the beginning, you could scrap any information which is available on the website, you just need to adjust the XPath accordingly. I hope you found this tutorial useful, thanks for watching and see you next time.